Yo, what is going on, guys? It is the Spider Pumpkin here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to level up extremely fast in um, Dead Rising 3. I was going to say GTA 5, but it's Dead Rising 3. And um, the first place you're going to want to go is to this safe zone at the bottom right corner of the map, and, or bottom right corner of the section. And um, in that section, it's kind of to the left. I probably put that backwards. Bottom right corner of the map, left of the section. Okay, so the first thing uh, you're going to want to get is just go to the weapon locker and just get a bunch of zars um like i did here and um there's plenty of cops down there um so you can pick some up off of them and um if you don't know how to build a zar um you're going to play a couple missions to get to fighting i think one of the psychos and the first thing you want to get is an ultimate shout which again um you do have to find um i think in the bottom left hand corner of the map but you can search all of these up and um you can take pretty much anything else you want um i would actually recommend a split shot but um i'm just gonna take an ultimate reaper wherever it is it's this one and um ultimate reaper is pretty good it's um i think the fire one would cut it and uh if you don't have the ultimate but um the fire one or the grim reaper that yeah, would be fine or you can have one of the the dragon things i don't know what they're called exactly but um they're dragon things with fire and gloves and melee stuff but anyways um this is where you're gonna want to go you just um actually some of the attributes you might want to get is um uh smarts first and then uh, smarts all the way up so you get extra pp and then um combo categories for the gun so you can build the zar with any gun you want and um these are all the categories you can build off of it really does take you to 52 to get everything but um, I'll show you how to get up to around 50 really easily. And um, what you're going to want to do is just start getting your combo up and um, just walking down this road. And um, I don't think I show you the map. But just follow the road down and um, just start just hit firing. It's not really hit firing. Just pressing the right trigger as you're walking. And um, just keep shooting. Get your combo up. As you can see, mine's almost at 100, which 100 is pretty good. But um, if you get to a thousand, I think you get times ten PP, and t at two fifty, at times six, and um, I don't know the uh, periodic increments um, all the way up. But um, let's just keep going, just keep shooting, and um, from here you can just take out your split shot and just rack up the PPs. And um, as you can see, the bo top left hand corner of the screen, my um, I've almost leveled up just by walking down here shooting with the the gun uh, with the ZAR and um, here I'm just gonna take out the split shot and just walk all the way down just shoot in and just holding down the trigger or I can you can just tap it so you constantly get the auto aim and um, I've actually I actually destroyed that with just with the split shot and um, if you don't have to make the split shot you have to get further into the campaign so you actually get to I believe the military base and as you can see I've almost leveled up just by just walking down here and I am at level 50 so it is pretty difficult to level up so um yeah as you can see my split shot just broke and um, just keep the combo going and um, just start shooting at zombies as you can see I kinda started aiming just because the zombies were getting out of my range and I wasn't gonna a auto aim at them and shoot so as you can see just keep walking keep your combo up keep shooting your ZAR and um, just walking all the way down and just keep shooting really just, as long as you keep your combo up you get that PP multiplier and um, I do believe in the safe house I just showed you, you get a PP multiplier or it's um, a fighting multiplier. But um, anyways, as long as you got your smarts up and um, it allows you to have uh, like the, the PP multiplier just by having the skill, you should be good. And um, now you're just going to walk all the way back because the zombies do respawn after a certain distance rendered. Um, I don't think I walked far enough because usually this whole block should have been filled with zombies. And... Um, as you can see, my ZAR broke, but pun good thing I got plenty of them, and um, just get them to keep shooting the zombies, and just keep walking. It's actually quite simple, as long as you just, I've leveled up twice in the time I've shown you this, and um, I think my combo's about to end just because I couldn't find enough zombies, but um, it's really easy to get that back up. As you can see, just as it ended, I shot that last bullet, but it um, shouldn't be too difficult to get it back up as long as you got your ultimate shout, and you just walk down, and um, get to this little, um, get to the the stack of zombies and just press X or right trigger whichever one you want to use pretty sure right trigger is better just because um, it kind of keeps you walking and um, as you can see I'm already at 151 just by a couple of shots I believe it was about 20 just then and um, just keep shouting and it's really really simple 
as long as you're just killing zombies with ultimate weapons this this shouldn't be too difficult to level up and obviously you can do this between intervals of main missions or side missions or whatever you want and um, or if you just want to get to uh, the highest level just like really fast I believe you can do this quite easily if you just got the weapons for it and um, don't do that I dropped my power shout and um, I don't think I was I don't think I pick it up but um another tip if you just ever have melee out and you just need to uh, and you ran out of weapons just take them um, just YB grapple them and then hold to the right stick because if you have your melee all the way up it should give you one of the grappling combos I forgot which one that's called but um it's really good if you have no weapons and um, you're just punching because um you do get mul you can kill like all the zombies around you quite simple like quite easily and um it's you you can get um like about 2000 if you have up to 100 and um you can get 2000 per kill with uh, with that hold and um if you ever just run out of um your other gun just switch to your ultimate reaper as you can see i just got a whole lot of xp right there um or it's pp i think it uh, stands for prestige points and then we're just gonna make our way back and just try and level up again but um with just the ultimate reaper it does shoot explosives and or not shoot explosive but it kinda deposits explosives like these skull things that are on fire and um, you if you ever run out of ammo with it you can just um, press X to uh, get it back up and um, as you can see guys if you just run into a patch where there's no zombies just take out your ZAR and start um, hip firing or just aimbot shooting whatever you call it but um, it's quite simple you just shoot zombies and that's it that's kind of how the game plays out and um, I've actually do like this game a lot um, I l kinda like the aspect of Dead Rising where you can kill zombies with just about anything you can pick up and um, except for like toys and stuff you can't really kill a zombie with a paintball gun or a squirt gun but um, as you can see you just run down to a large patch of zombies and um, just take out your gun or weapon but um I don't know if you guys know, but at the beginning I showed you those circle things, and that's where you can actually pick up, or you can actually get a skill where you can craft pretty much anything um, out of anything, if you know what I mean. But, um, like, I'll just give you an example of the gun. Like, a ZAR takes two guns, two gun types. Um, a little more specific, it takes shotgun and a star rifle. But um, with the skill, um, for the at the top of the combo, it can just take any two guns. Like, you can have two pistols. Um, and you'll get a ZAR or even two flare guns you'll still get a ZAR but um it's it's quite a good skill um, as long as this can be you can easily get to level 50 in just about 30 minutes of doing this straight as long as you're good about it and um, you got a good train going on and um, it, it's pretty fun too if you can just tr um, trying to just see and um, earn a higher combo just try and get a higher score than you did last time and um, it'll feel like it went by pretty fast. I did this a couple times. I was at like 36, and I wanted to get to 50 just to have all these um, tree, like all the ends of the, like the skill tree. I know it's not a skill tree. That's borderlands, but like a skill line almost. And um, just to see all of indestructible vehicles. That's actually I I don't notice it. I mean, usually I only drive a car until I hit a roadblock and jump out. I'm gonna start running from there. But um, I think the video is about to end around soon. And it's been a long time talking. And I think I've almost leveled up three times at the higher level of 50. And usually, um, there is no other things I can fill out, as you can see at the beginning. And I still had 24 skill points. At the end, I should have about, I don't know, 30-something, 30 35, 39. I don't know exactly. But um, I really have no other point of using these skill points. Because um, I've just been playing this game a whole lot. I really like it. And... Um, it's it's pretty amazing. Um, so if you guys have an Xbox One um, and you're just playing maybe Forza or Battlefield, I think that's really about it. What that's out. Um, uh, I would recommend picking up this Dead Rising game, and you'll have lots of fun. And um, I found myself like playing for a couple hours without doing one mission, you're just walking around killing zombies and picking up blueprints. And um, as you can see, I've ran out of the explosives on my. Uh, Reaper thing and all you can do is just hit the zombies and you'll gain them. It's kind of like taking their souls and I'll see you guys in the good one Bye